All right, folks, welcome back to Woody's Barn and Grill. This is just a fine example of how uh, Great Pyrenees, they know their job is to take care of these animals. And this is just one of many examples of these two uh, bonding. Uh, it's just fascinating watching how these guys work. Uh, like I said in another video, if it was drier out here in the pasture, uh, I'd let my dogs be out there with the cows. Pearl, even though it's not a Pyrenees job to uh, herd, uh, usually the, the livestock will follow them, at least with sheep they do. But uh, she will actually, and has, and I, if I hope I didn't delete it, it would be a short video once I learn how to edit these things and put stuff together so you don't have to watch a bunch of little short videos. I'll make it into a long video. Uh, but you can actually watch her under my command telling her to herd the cows and she was bringing them in from out of the front pasture and bringing them up to uh, the corral. Now she wants to play. They both want to play. If Pearl was in there right now, it would be just fascinating watching how, uh, even though they're two different animals, how they play together. Throughout the feed, everybody's having dinner time. Uh, this was my second cow. That I had. She's a heifer. Uh, the one that you saw at the water trough Pearl was playing with. Oh, here we go. Let's watch these two. It's just fascinating. Some people say, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> they make me laugh. I love watching this up sitting on the, uh, one of the rocking chairs, drinking a cold adult frosty beverage, and uh, watching these guys interact. The bull seems to be more. Uh, acceptive, I guess we could call it, of the dogs than um, uh, than the heifer calf right there. Uh, sometimes, other times they're just as good as could be with each other. But that heifer there, uh, she's uh, she's looking like a mighty magnificent animal. I think uh, I'm no expert on cattle. I'm trying to learn as I go. After 30 or 27 years in the military, three years as a contractor. Uh, you know, took 30 years total dealing, dealing with the military. My dream had always been to have me a little hobby farm and, and animals and so forth. So it's finally come to fruition. Now look, see the bulls wants to give her a little headbutt. Now, Gunner, the male Pyrenees, uh, there's something he don't like. So these... It's also, uh, I guess the word fascinating is the word to use for today. Uh, these two communicate, when I say these two, the two Pyrenees, Pearl and Gunner, they communicate. As soon as one barks, uh, and if it can't see that other dog, it will run over to see what it's uh, barking at. Uh, vice versa, one will do it for the other. So basically, as I can see, they're working in a team. We have had so much rain. You've heard me say that in the other video. This is only two or three days after that and was posted on um, YouTube. But it is, it is really muddy out here. And once again, as I said then, I can't complain. Because normally, uh, this time of the year, it's a lot colder than what we had this year. So we had a, what I would call, I wouldn't call it warm, but we didn't have a cold winter uh, in this part of Kentucky as we normally would have. But with the amount of rain we had, this should have been snow. We should have had a lot, a lot of snow on the ground if we'd have had the cold weather like we'd normally be expected to. Uh, this is cow number two out of the herd. I call her that because she's the second largest. Uh, the bull calf, his mama, over here his mama is cow number one. She's the one that's uh, pushing about a thousand pounds. This one's around eight, eight fifty. And you can see cow number two over there, cow number three who's actually the first one I got. You would think I should call her one, but I'm going by size. So the largest to the smallest. So cow number three was actually my first cow. Uh, well, that's, uh, that's about all we got for right now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed just, you know, what a little bit I can share in my day-to-day -day life in the afternoons and just how relaxing it is. And, uh, We'll see you guys around, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out here to Woody's Barn and Grill. And, uh, 
Y'all take care.